people attend as observers before who stay quiet and who you'd like to understand how they think but you don't. This time they have blended in, fit in, participated, given us great ideas about what we can do um, and how we ought to be thinking about other parts of the world than the insular thinking that we sometimes get into. So that's been the greatest thing about this meeting from my perspective. The weather's better too than it was at the start. <laughs> but I think that this is, I think, a transition point for the group because we go from a lot of older people with a lot of great hair and many experiences in the past to what we hope will be people's experiences moving ahead into the future. And I think that's another big thing that we're changing. Well, my first impression coming here was a little bit negative because I felt that I was going to stay in a hotel, not being able to move anywhere and not to see Africa like I would like to. But that, that has changed. I mean, uh, the, the hostess has been very clever in getting us out and I've been out seeing and especially the visit to Sueto yesterday was very nice for me. Even if I come from quite different countries I could feel some of the values from, from, my, from my background. To the meeting I would say it's, uh, uh, the group is more harmonized now than it has been before. So I feel that uh, it's, it's, more easy, it's been more easy to work. I think this meeting has been one of the best, actually. Sometimes we get into internal fights and lose the plot. But this meeting, we've had some really good work done as a team. And more than that, we've established some new contacts um, in the African community. And I think that has led to opportunities for individuals or the group to assist. Well, I came to, to Africa for the first time in my life. So I was very curious about it and uh, I found it much colder than I had expected <laughs> in the beginning. Um, we had a very fruitful meeting, I think. We, could, uh, we had the possibility to, to present what we had been working over, on over the year. And, um, uh, well, um, we also had some, some really nice events. We, we could learn about the country, been to Soweto and these things. We, I never knew really about, had somehow realized the history of, of Johannes of, of South Africa from far away. And so I'm, 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 when I go home, I really have to take something with me. Thank you for that. I am really impressed with Johannesburgo. I am, uh, I live in Sao Paulo, which is a big city too, but I, I found Johannesburg much more organized than Sao Paulo, I have to say. The Johannesburg meeting has been great. It's been more than what we expected. We, we did not know there was so much volume of work to do. And uh, the program has been quite intensive and very constructive. We, we have benefited much, even though for many of us from Africa, it's our first experience. So, but uh, it's been quite a useful experience, uh, seeing with the importance of the work the classification committee is doing for primary care. We see that it's, it's, a, it's, it's a work that will help in a, long, a, long, a large way to uh, assist the, the primary care provider to 
really contribute to the work of science and development of medicine generally in the, in the language of the people, in the language that the primary care physician speaks and the language the ordinary people also understand. So talking about reason for encounter, looking at issues from that way has been quite uh, an enlightening. I think the future will be very different. I think that in the next several years, Wonko will need to understand what it must do to make primary care better around the world and how the central role of information in that process. I think that we're at the point where the executive begin to understand that. They see how things relate together. They see that you cannot um, just go around and talk, but you need to make fundamental changes. And I think that what we try to do in this group is give the Wonka executive and Wonka membership some tools and maybe some help in learning how to make that change happen. And so I think that we're not just a classification committee, but in a way we are a change agent for Wonka. And so I'm hoping that this meeting stimulates that, especially with some of the work we have done with people from Africa. For the future of uh, Vic and also ICPC, we are at a very crucial point. Uh, one thing that always is very fundamental is the financing. And uh, we now don't have any, have any financing. And, and I think in the world where you, we, you are, people expect you to be professional, you also need an organization and that then we need money. On the other hand, we also understand that there is a movement in classifications you know, in ICD and, and SNOMED, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that IC, ICPC will survive <coughs> as it has been, because they will try to copy us or swallow us. ICPC in the future is a good question. I think it's absolutely essential if ICPC is to survive that we move with the SOMED movement. Otherwise we will have countries adopting a terminology without it being classified and they'll think they don't need a classification. We know far better than that. So we've got to move with SOMED internationally. We've got to establish the relationship with WHO so that we know where ICPC SIPs versus ICD. And if we can clarify that, I think the future is very solid as long as we educate everybody to understand the difference between ICD and ICPC. The future of WIC. I think WIC is growing into a much more professional organisation, more educated. Uh, before it was uh, a lot of um, interested GPs. There's now a good mixture of people coming from different avenues and I think that will give it great strength in the future. The future of the committee or the work we do now will, I think, become more and more important because somehow I think we are the only ones who are representing primary care in this area of statistical representation of our work and uh, it is obviously not well represented in WHO and also not in this, in this IHTSTO SNOMED group who explicitly ask us for help while WHO does not ask us but somehow involves us in some things that are difficult to understand for us. But I think, um, well, it will be important to find our, or to secure our place in this world. Uh, for the future of ICPC uh, in South Africa or in Brazil or everywhere, I think uh, we have to develop the ICPC in the countries as South Africa and Brazil, because uh, we cannot have one uh, classification uh, that can help the uh, patients if they are just based in data from some countries. So we need that countries as Brazil and South Africa, which are really populated country, we need to contribute to develop the ACPC, and I think we are going to do that. We are going to develop the ACPC tree one day, and uh, that's why we think, uh, I think that we, we, we can contribute to, to, to ICPC as uh, giving data, for a CPC, and I think we can 
put uh, some job that we are we're doing in Brazil and South Africa as the community job, the health community uh, workers, and we can contribute for the future of ICPC. In terms of the future, we feel that the for the beginner, a lot of work has gone on for so many years, and uh, a few countries have keyed into it, and they are virtually up to date with what is happening. For many of the countries that are just coming in and um, have not been fully into it, uh, it many times looks as if so much ground has been covered and it's not easy to get them along. Uh, we feel that for the enormous work that is being done by the committee, and I guess for other committees of Wonka, uh, for the impact to be felt by the global community, starting with members of Wonka at large, there has to be deliberate effort to create a forum for the committees to interact and interface with members of Wonka and to get them to really understand what they are doing and to be able to also benefit because the work here on the combining the work of the classification, the electronic health records uh, work with the informatics and uh, even quality in family medicine. A lot of work is being done but much of it remains within the committee members and they, there's a need to look for a way to disseminate this so that our members can get to know what the benefit of being members of Wonka is. They can take the work of the committee to reflect and impact on their practices. Mike was talking about uh, Wonka creating a room for something like training of trainers where a few people from various countries can be brought and taught at least some of the basic rudiments, maybe in two or three modules, so to have a working knowledge of what the committee is doing and how they can use this in their various practices. So I think if we start to look at that for the future, it will go a long way to make the impact of what this committee and other committees are doing relevant to the larger community of Wonka members and by extension member nations and hopefully global impact at the end of the day. Oh